Presented in this video are two effective methods of blinking LEDs. One of the methods, even though it provides significant advantages over the most commonly used method, is little known. To best understand those advantages, I'll first show you what I call the traditional method, and then I will show you what I call the array method. This video is part of our video series on animating dioramas and model train layouts, all, which, all of which can be found in our channel, The World of Rail. So subscribe to see all of them and click on the bell to be notified when we add a new video. We also have another series of modeling tutorials, making scenery, making models and animation procedures in our Facebook page, Model Scenery Tutorials a link to which is below the video. You are invited to visit that page to see what is there and follow it as we update. The LEDs shown are Christmas light LEDs that I use for testing sketches. The LEDs are attached to the ends of telephone cable on which the second end are soldered mechanical pin headers that make it easy to attach to and disconnect from an LED control board on which an Arduino Nano is mounted. Learn about this in the link below the video. For best effect, I filmed this in the wee hours of the morning. This first segment shows the lights blinking as required by the traditional sketch. The red light is on the Arduino Nano that is controlling the lights. In a moment, I will show you how to change the blink rate. Now, let's look at the code. To blink the LEDs. First thing we're going to do is set our pins to output. This little section of code will do that very conveniently for you. We're going to be have LEDs on pins two through nine. To make this code work, we have to add one to the highest pin number. Down here, we're going to use a random seed. A random seed ensures that the first LED to light as your sketch goes through the loop will be different. So the first time through the loop, it might go on pin two, second time through the loop, pin five, and so on. If you don't have random seed, you, you pin two might start, go through the loop, pin two starts it, goes through the loop. You don't see very much randomness. Put random seed and everything changes every time through the loop. Now we're going down here. We're going to have a random delay. Uh, so, so the blink rate will change randomly. We are going to have the lights will be selected randomly between lights two and light nine. Remember, we have to add one here. So we're at pin nine, we add 10. Now we can go ahead and change our blink rate up here by changing this number. Now that you've seen the code, you can copy the code from the links down below the video. In these sequences, I will show you LEDs that blink as required by a sketch using an array. In one case, I will have an array with sequential pins. In the second, you'll see it where I have left one of the LEDs out of the array. Both give a fine effect. The code is below. This is very useful technique. Let me go ahead and explain that code to you now. This is a unique piece of code. It allows you to blink LEDs randomly, of course, but you can pick the pins 
they don't have to be in a string like they were in the last sketch that I showed you. In this particular piece of code, I've chosen to blank pins 5, 6, and 9. In the later part of this video, you'll see me blank others. I'll add some other pins. They don't have to be sequential. And another nice thing about this is that you do not have to leave any pins blank. So you pick up an extra pin on your board. If we come down here a little bit, we go through our setup routine and like we've been doing just to go ahead and set the output. But this one sets the pins to be output based on the array. So you just put this line of code in and there is everything set up for you. Now we set up a delay here. This is going to be a delay for the, uh, the lights. You can change that and change your blink rates. Down here in the loop, we have a random delay between the high and the low. And again, you don't have to do any other fancy coding. Everything is set by this array. So if you want to change pins, you just go ahead and change these and save it, upload it, and off it goes. Now, let's watch it work. Once again, this is the array with sequential pins. We have in the center one light I left on high just to show you that you can do it. This is very simple, very effective, and you actually pick up more pins in that you do not have to leave anything blank on your board. Now let's go over to the array where the pins are not sequential. There are fewer LEDs flashing in this case. I did that once again for effect. This gives you a lot of opportunity. You can pick and choose the pins. You don't have to worry about placement of your wires. Very good sketch. I recommend strongly you practice this one, learn how to do it. Once again, you're reminded to look below for the codes and other information. We have other information about diorama animations that use other lighting effects, including arc welders and fires. You can find them in our video channel and Facebook page, Model Scenery Tutorials. If you have questions, comments, or need help making or animating your own diorama, use the comments box below. I hope this information is useful to you. Please give us a like. Have a good day.